Tweed. Oh, I'm digging this jazzy tune. This is cool. Hello, everybody. These things look like penises. Here I am on a first date with Spooky Speakeasy by developer Open Alpha. So this game is free on Steam. It was released in December of 2020. Yeah, yeah, 2020. <laughs> I, I've lost track of what year it is. Um, this looks already very cute, and I like this. What happens if I hit feedback? Oh, there's a feedback form. It takes you to a Google Doc. That's adorable. I want at least one person watching this to, like, stop this video. Fu fuck my videos. Uh, go give them some love. Uh, but for the rest of y'all, let's, let's see what this gameplay consists of. This is your final week. It's been a valiant str- Could have given a fade in, Spooky Speakeasy, speak but I guess that's... Whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm still- I'm still happy. Um... Oh, BBC. Nice. There's a lot of references to penis here. Dear bar owner, one week from now, official warning, I must leave the property. Regards, BBC. Fake contact. Fake contact. Fake contact. Ah! I, I cracked the code! Um... It's been a valiant struggle against the big band company, the BBC, but they're planning on buying out your bar at the end of the week. They sent a letter. Next. <laughs> oh. I wonder if they're a good company. What do I... This is an official notice of the demolition of the spooky speakeasy in seven days' time! Get out! Okay. Get out? Not quite yet. You're determined to give one last fight. If you build a community strong enough, you might be able to change the future of your bar. Are you up to it? This is cute! Alright, day one. Open the bar. Hey, little ghost dude! Hi. Oh, I have to click on you. Hi, it's Bob. It's been a while since we last seen one another, isn't it? I was on my way to get daughter, or to get my daughter, Boothley, from Undead Daycare when I heard the news about your bar. I just had to say goodbye, you know? Look at a bit down, huh? Silly me, of course you are. I promise everyone is understanding about what's going on. This is actually surprisingly, like, wholesome. They don't even care about how long you take at the drink is what they order to they enjoy. Huh. Nothing like a good conversation to de-stress after a long night. Sorry, I was babbling. I should go ahead and order, shouldn't I? I'll help you out in a bit. I know you've got lots in your mind. See the color here? Monsters will explain their orders to you, but we aren't perfect. This color shows what we're thinking, so you can figure out what we want even if we left something out. Wait, what color? Oh, that? Now for my drink. Hmm. I think I'll have a happy death today, please. It's my husband Theodore's favorite drink. He absolutely loves it. It's pretty simple. Just grab some cherry blossom sake and some angel tears. Uh, alright, cherry... Okay, cherry blossom sake, definitely this. Angel tear is gonna guess it's that. Look at me, talking on and on again. Don't worry if you forgot. Remember, you've got your order log here. Okay. Maybe an arrow would do. It just sort of looks like... whatever. No, I guess this is okay. Ready to start, click on the, uh, click on the cherry blossom sake to pick it up, then hover over the mixing glass and click to pour. Yeah. Ghost one drinky. Yeah. All right. Yay. Now for some blood. Didn't you say it was Angel to- Okay, sure. Ah, so sorry. Even my mind is a bit fuzzy today. It's the wrong color, but not a problem. As Theodore always says, makes mistakes are just lessons we haven't learned yet. Isn't he dead? Whatever. Let's clear this drink and we can start over. Clear. Second try, let's add the wonderful cherry blossom sake again. You know, you just cost me, like, a bit of my, my alcohol. And now for the angel tears. Good. Color still isn't quite right. Just adding more- try adding more angel tears until the color matches. Oh, until the color matches. Huh. That's an interesting mechanic. Looks perfect. Now just click on it to pick it up, then drag it to me to give me the finished drink. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Beautiful, see? You still got that bartending touch. Don't worry about the BBC. It'll all work out in the end. Make sure to li- I don't know if it's like political, because BBC is also like the British Broadcasting Corporation. Whatever. Uh, make sure to listen to the other customers too. They might mention a thing or two about their own lives. Bartending is- okay. L had it, putting it on a little bit thick, but... Um... Alright. I'd, I'd rather show don't tell, my, my friend. Um, I'm still having a blast though, not gonna lie. Um, 
And I'm, I'm under no obligation to say, like, oh, nice thing. If I do a first date and I'm sent the game by the developer, I try to be a bit nicer about it, because it's clear they're looking for the, sort of, like, the feedback. So I want to be, like, more sparing. If I took a game or bought it of my own volition, granted, this is for free, but still. Um, I am a lot easier on games that are free, though. If it's free, they're just sort of like, we hope you have a good experience. Bought, it's like, you exchanged money for this. So I will be merciless on those games. Uh, I think I'll come back just to check up on you. I usually can't come. Parental duties away, but I just want to make sure you're doing alright. Anyways, I best be off to pick up Boothany. We have family charades scheduled. Very exciting. Looks like some other monsters are already here. Keep your head up. I'll be seeing you later. Bye, little dude. Hi, gross sponge. Hi, Cleopatra. Hello. I think I'm feeling a royal downfall tonight. Pretty simple drink, if you ask me, but it's one of my favorites. It's basically just whiskey and corn pain. Okay. Doesn't sound too hard, does it? We shall see. Maybe, like, one more? Alright. Congratulations, you did so well on this one. Thank you. Do you want to invite them to stay after hours? Ah, sure. You know what? Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. Hey, I want the corn shower. Put some Baba Yaga's vodka, then add some corn pine. Shouldn't be too difficult for you. We shall see. Corn pine, corn pine. Maybe one more. Net. Doesn't look like. Actually, I'm gonna clear that. I'm thinking maybe two of those. Yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> Booyah! You know, I'm not- I'm not doing too bad at this. I- which is weird, I'm not normally that good at, like, seeing different colors. Like, seriously, I'm usually really bad. Phew. Both of the absolutely destroyed me in charades! Nah, that's not the voiceless little dude. What's the voiceless little dude, like? Still, I haven't been this happy in a while. Great to see the bar full of life again. And full of death, I suppose. It's lovely. Hey, Open Alpha. Uh, I'll- I'll voice your character- this is a free game, I'll voice your characters for free. <laughs> you probably won't take me up on that, but, like, I'm having fun with these characters. The best part about making drinks for monsters is getting to know them. Like now, when the place clears out, and you get the chance to talk to someone one-on-one. -on -one. Monsters tell you about their lives and their problems, and you get to listen. Maybe even give some advice. Looks like someone's already coming. I'll leave you to it. And good luck. Not that you'll need it, of course. Well, here I am willing to chat. You have a nice place here. It's a bit more rustic than what I'm used to, but I find value in it. I'm sorry to tell you that it won't be open for very much longer. I knew that already. I saw what the BBC's doing to your bar. That's actually partly why I came here tonight. However, I'll amuse you for tonight. Um, I'm a married man. You seem to want to meet monsters while you still can. What do you want to know? I want to know if there's any achievements in this game. Um... You seem to know a lot more than I'm being led to believe. I assume you're looking for some anonymity? No, I'm gonna say the first one. Oh, a little cheeky, are we? Alright, well, since it won't matter if I tell you anyway. I've been having a rough time recently due to some issues with my work. I won't divulge the details, but I will say that my financials have been struggling as of lately. It's just... so hard. Have you ever dealt with high expectations? Of course, I've always doubted my performance at the bar. Uh, especially seeing some of the other folks here. Remember not to get let expectations get the better of you. You can never fit that exact expect- See, this one's like, slightly more empathetic, but it's also a little bit more like talking down, like, remember to do this. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna acknowledge the pains. I see, it's a relief to hear I'm not alone. Okay, cool. Thank you, you've given me a lot to think about. I'll admit you surprised me, bartender. I expect you to just get me drunk. Super small criticism. It kind of bothers me when, like, the words are starting to appear and, like, expect shows up here and then disappears only to show up down here. Um, if the developer is watching this, is there any way you could, like, make it already appear down here? Super small thing. It's, it's only, like, a polish thing. Honestly, the base game is clearly here. I'm just giving super small polish things. Uh, just trying to give as many folks comfort in these times, miss. I appreciate it. Also, the name's Kepri. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Alright. 
Three star, Capri. Two star, Ghost. What, a Ghost fucking? Oh wait, was that the sponge? He said it was perfect! Whatever. You get a phone call from the BBC. Oh boy. <clears throat> Don't think we're not watching your every step, Bob! You better start clearing out soon! If you don't want to get crushed under the rubble, you've got five days! Day two, rise and grind. Amigos, boo. Ah, oh, fuck. What are these? Hi, it's me again. Great to have a break from Screaming Toddler. If you've never seen a gross ghost or a tantrum, makes the devil himself reach for earplugs. Now that was an awkward airplane ride. My husband reminded me of something important. I was telling him about how you're doing wonderfully, and he said his favorite part is of any cocktail is a fancy decoration placed on top. Toppings. How could I have forgotten to tell you about toppings? Here, I can show you. I have the happy death again. That's one part che uh, cherry, cherry blossom. With two pours of angel tears. I just love the salty taste. Was it two? Okay. Could have sworn it was four. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Now for the fun part, I'd like a nightshade berry. You can take one and put it on, uh, on top of the drink. Nightshade berry. And one of these? Wonderful. I'll take it. Alright. Hmm, this is perfect. I understand why Theodore loves toppings so much. Yeah, I bet he does. Oh, and toppings on the drink don't affect the color of the drink. Greatest error, you can only have one topping on a drink at a time, so make sure to pick the right one. That's all. I've got to go help Theodore make a crop circle. Good luck today, and make sure to have fun talking to new monsters. Oh, hell yeah. No. He, he was here for- okay, fine, I guess. Someone make a fucking order! Somebody? I want to close the bar. Uh, order. Alright. Sup, dude. How's it hanging? Call up the <laughs> Sweet name, right? You pour in some angel tears and some vodka. Then you put something on top. Something cool and trippy if you catch my drift. Cool and trippy? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm just like a, such a fan of this drink. Bit of Angel Tears of Vodka, something cool and trippy. Alright. Um. Stop. Okay. And now. I'm thinking. Yeah? God, it's so hard to tell. I'm not good at this sort of thing. Alright, something cool and trippy. None of these are cool and trip. Okay, what? Oh, something cool and trippy. Maybe like a trip, like mushrooms? Dude. Dude! This is like my favorite thing ever. Do you want to invite them to stay after hours? Yeah. Sure, sounds rad. Alright. One of you two, order a fucking drink, please. Do I have to, like... I'm clicking. Do I have to wait for that animation to finish? Huh. Nice bar. I love the big slurp. One part cherry blossom mixed with two parts of something else. I don't quite remember. The nightshade berries on top. Alright. Your nightshade berries are locally sourced, right? Oh god, you're one of these assholes. Uh... Cherry blossom. Alright. Okay, it's not apple juice. It's not blood. It's not whiskey. Uh, might be vodka. Yeah, it's a vodka. Alright, cool. Alright. Nightshade berries. Oh yes, this is perfect. Yeah. Oh, what a cute game. Alright. Will you let me talk to you now? I feel like... Okay, so this is clearly not timed. Which is good, because I'd get really nervous. 
Do I have to wait for, like, that light thing to finish? Yeah, the light is, like, changing in this place. I'm not... I'm not crazy about the transitions. Okay, now it's... now it's pink. How do I... Oh! I need to click on their heads! I just parked my spaceship. Well, howdy there, partner! Just parked my spaceship down in the nearby field. Can you fix me up a good old country charm? One of my go-tos across the galaxy. I just love the kick of flavor it gives you. Flavor. Spelled flavor wrong. Get some corn paint and put a lot of poison apple juice in there. Jesus. Can't remember what the last thing was, but I think it was something real dirty. Anyway, I'm sure you can figure it out. Just take your time. I'd rather have a good drink than a rush drink, y'all hear? Oh, I hear. Um, corn paint, a lot of apple juice. Corn paint. The question is, is it... Nah, yeah, whatever. Oh, I see. All right. Corn pain. Good amount of apple juice, but you need to leave something in there for it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah, this is one mighty fine drink. All right. Hey, you. I need something to cut my ears before I get all stabby. Give me a yuck yuck. There's blood and lots of it. Whiskey and graveyard mud. And I like my graveyard mud with some gravel. So don't mix it too much. Got it? You got it. Got it. Whiskey. Uh, yeah, a lot of blood. Graveyard mud. Not too shabby. Good thing I don't have to break out one of these knives and teach you a lesson. Cheers, dude. Sup? Name's Xandar. You've got a cool spot. It's like super underground. Mind if I take some pics for my trick talk? Are you... Are you proud of yourselves, Arpen Alpha? Are you... Was this a moment for you? <laughs> I've been trying to find a spot with decent lighting. I love your vibes here, but I'm more of a neon green guy. Still, nice place. <clears throat> Speaking of, do you have an account? I've been trying to find another body to make a killer vid with. But the ones I've been digging up just fall apart before I can even hit record. Um... These are both mean! That's a good idea. Wonder if there's some fresh meat around here. I've been thinking about how I should change up my content. POVs just aren't fun anymore. You can only pretend to be an ancient eldritch being and destroy so many minds before it gets boring. Plus, I don't even get to eat the imaginary minds I destroy. Totally lame. Now I'm hungry. Anyway, what do you think? Are POVs too mainstream now? Um... What the fuck? But this time pretend you're a little baby and just make baby noises the whole time? Stop the BRVs. Start doing anti-BRVs where you're the audience watching your own videos. It's totally avant-garde. Both of these are terrible advice. Whatever, he'll appreciate this. What? Wait, it's actually a really good idea. You know what? You're not so bad. I'll tell all my trick talk followers to stop by here, but like in a cool, understated way. Cool. Man, oh man, I still, I still messed up a couple of. Dr I guess I need to get three star on things to be entirely correct. Your stools are mysteriously missing. It must have been those BBC goons. All right then. Hi. Oh what? What the hell? Wow, we need to stop running into each other like this, don't we? Just kidding. I love dropping by. I know you're a topping expert by now, but let me in on a secret. You know, man. More truth of that than you think. Uh, you can do much more with them than just place them on on drinks. So I want to tell you about another great part of drink making: topping mixing. Good lord. <clears throat> Look at me already getting all excited. Let's give it a try. I'll have the happy, happy death this time, like last time. One part cherry blossom sake. Two pours of angel tears. No, I'll mix things up a bit. I'd like n nightshade berries mixed in. So start by adding the nightshade berry to the glass. Okay. Now pick up the glass and bring the glass over to the shaker. 
Make sure to click to mix the drink. Okay, good. Well, look at that. See how the color of the drink has changed? Toppings mixed into the drink affect the drink color. Make sure to keep that in mind when monsters give drink orders. Toppings can be mixed into a drink at any time. Just make sure to have a topping in the glass and click on the shaker. You can mix multiple toppings into the drink, but make sure to only mix one topping at a time. The glass can't fit more than one topping on top at once. Wow. That's a lot. Phew, I've been talking for a while. May I have my drink now? There you go. Delicious. You're a natural. The other monsters are going to love this. I best be off. Need to help Theodore put his finishing touches on his crop circle. I just love exterior decorating. See you around. Oh, and have a great time for me today, okay? Yeah, for a free game, this is utterly charming, and I like this a lot. Hello. Oh, it looks like you don't have any stools. That's okay. We prefer to be stacked up anyway. Are these gremlins old enough to have a drink? Yeah, sure, why not? Score! Alright, Barkeep, I'll take a liver failure. You never heard of a liver failure? Wow, you must be the young one, not us. Nice. No way we're actually gonna give him that chalky milk instead. Um, poison apple juice, blood, and something like dirty dishes blended in. Okay. Poison apple juice, blood, and like, like that. Nope. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, help, help. Br bring back, bring back. Okay. What a shame. I think I got it right, too. Um, and then mud. And be really precise. Huh? Amazing job, Barkeep. All three of us love the way you made this. Do you want to invite them to stay after hours? Yes. Totally, we'd love to, but we'll have to clear it with Mom. Right. Evening. <clears throat> Evening. Hear the BBCs nailing down everyone in the area, so I couldn't miss out on this gem, even if there are less seats than I was expecting. Might as well have you make me a tempestuous torment. Mispronounce that old hell. Ain't all that common around here, so I'll let you know how it's made. The whiskey's a given. Send in free recipe. The next ingredient changes from monster to monster, but Dragonborn usually likes something that's thicker than water. Tastes like a fine metal. Once that done, just add a bit of nightmare fuel to top it off. It's my sister's favorite. Keep your head up, kid. Can't look ahead if you're too busy looking at your own feet instead. Alright. Okay, so whiskey. And... Let's try two parts of each. I'm gonna guess this is nightmare fuel. Hmm. Nah, it's not yellow enough. That's kind of darker. Whiskey, something thicker than water, and tastes like metal and nightmare fuel. Okay, reasonably sure that this is nightmare fuel. Eh? Is this the spot, kid? Couldn't have made it better even if you tried. Reminds me of home. Alright. Um, I'll have a lot of pumpkin. Sleepy Hollow Whiskey, then something else I don't remember. Oh, and don't forget to blend in a sigh. Hello. Okay. Cool. Little Pumpkin, Sleepy Hollow Whiskey, something golden dust. All right. Um. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, this is perfect. Sweet, dude. Once you get, like, a feel for the game, you can really tell, like, what colors do what. Hello. One tipsy zombie, two parts cherry blossom sake, a lot of poison apple juice, and something on top. Something that would give me a good time. 
We'll give you a good time. Maybe you like mushrooms. Um, two parts cherry blossom sake. A lot of... Remind me of the old college days, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Okay. Two ounces of cherry blossom. A lot of poison apple juice. Eh. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. Am I really giving monsters psychedelic mushrooms? Good evening. Don't mind the eye. It's just a little sore. Luckily, this bar isn't an eye sore. <laughs> anyway, I'll take the null and void. Make it like they do in the Far Realm. Blood, poison apple juice, and lots of the gas that always gives people the creeps. I've noticed that jokes don't land if you haven't got an eye for the language. Do you fucking get it? Anyway. Uh, blood, poison, apple juice, some kind of creepy gas. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it needs to be blended. Um. Not dark enough. Hmm. Did I just do the same thing again? I might have. Okay, let's try equal parts. We're getting closer. Can I do it again? Still clearly not the color. Okay. Blood, poison apple juice. Try to make it more green again. What if I just go ham with it? Like, what if I just go ham with it? Maybe another blood? Fuck it, that's what you're getting. Okay. Shaman green to that drink is not sitting well with my essence. I didn't know what the fuck to do. Um... I'm feeling a cursed sorrow. What? Oh, sorry. That was a drink name. The cursed sorrow, please. I heard that it's uh lots of the cherry blossom sake and drop a corn pain and something holy. I heard. Something holy. Last thing is to shake in some berries. Thank you. Sorry. I'm kind of nervous talking to new people. Um. Also, your stools are gone. I overheard that some people from the BBC came in and took them. Sorry about that. Okay. Cherry Blossom, uh, Corn Pain, all right. Uh, and then berries. Is it equal parts? No, it's not. Uh, all right, it didn't look like bluish enough. Corn Pain. Boom. And then the berries. No, it's still not right. Uh, boom. Let's try two corn pains. Two of those. Boom. I'm a bartender. Okay. Um. Boom. Boom. And then the berries. I'm the meanest genius. That's... that doesn't match. Um... It is clearly something holy. That, that's that's clearly the holy thing. Shave Blossom Sake. Corn... two corn pain, maybe? Let's try that. No. Uh, let's try two of that. Boom. Boom. This looks like it could be right. Good enough. Th thank you. This is wonderful. Okay, hi. One order of a gravestone. Angel Thea's bl blended with trippy mushrooms. Plus another liquid. I don't remember the name. 
I'll try not to mess anything up. Yeah, no pressure. Angel tears, trippy mushrooms, some liquid. Okay. Angel tears. I'll just do two for good measure. Trippy shrooms. Okay, I need something that'll lighten it up. Let's try the vodka. Yeah, it looks about right. Ah, oh, yes. This is perfect. All right. Hey, Demon Slayer. Hello, bartender. No stools today, huh? No worries, I'll make one. Adventure Ale, please, the drink of a true hero. It's a blend of vodka, whiskey, poison apple juice, and that good dust. And Angel Tears, definitely Angel Tears. All right, you got me. I'm a shapeshifter. Angel Tears make me sick, yada, yada, yada. But I can explain. Okay, so not Angel Tears. Vodka, whiskey, angel dust, or sorry, vodka, whiskey. Putting in the vodka and whiskey. Maybe some more vodka. Yep, apparently no angel tears. Mm, just how I like it. Thanks, bartender. All right, time to hang out with some kids. Hey, Barkeep, you got a nice place here, except for the fact that everything's too tall. You keep making it hard for us gremlins, you know. Let me introduce ourselves. I'm Toe in the middle of Mo, and the bottom is Low. Howdy, I'm Low. Hello there. Are you sure you're allowed to be at a bar? Are you old enough? Hey, never ask a lady your age. It's rude. I'm sorry, I shouldn't assume that you're too young. That's right. But if you must know, we three triplets are actually 100 years old. Our birthday is this Friday. Actually, maybe you could settle a dispute between the three of us. I want to now throw a huge celebration to my favorite boiled flesh restaurant downtown. But Toe and Mo, Lo and Mo want something different. We want a simple game, not at home, with bobbing for eyeballs and a pinata with an assortment of guts inside. Yeah, that's simple, all right. So, what do you think? Um. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. You're right. A compromise is always the best option. Well, I call Ferris pick at the eyeballs. But you always pick the best ones. Thanks for all your help. I never know how to deal with the ideas my siblings have. I'm here to help, and before I get happy birthday, let me know how the party goes. That's sweet. Yeah, well, you know what? The Eldritch Monster was hard. So how about... Leave me alone. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. Um, so this has been the first, like, three, 30 minutes of the gameplay, and that's usually where I cap cop it off. So I'm gonna say this game is actually pretty fucking entertaining. And I most likely will keep playing this after uh, I finish the first day. Uh, but I gotta give leave something for you guys to experience on your own, because hopefully at least one of you is gonna be like, I wanna check out this game. Plus, it's free! Uh, what was your developer's name? Open Alpha, I think it was. Uh, you guys made a good game. I really like it. I think it was smart not charging money for it. But at the same time, I think it was like... I really appreciate you releasing this for the world. Uh, I love it. It's cutesy. It's got passion behind it. And uh, the gameplay is, at the very least, somewhat interesting. Because it's a kind of a spin on the usual bartender game where it's like... I don't know. Usually there's like a clear conveyance of like you need to do, clearly do these things. And here it feels more like experimenting. And I like that. Uh, yeah. Really fucking good game. Good job, guys. I don't know how to end videos. <laughs> Hey everyone, First Date is made possible by brave first-time developers sending their projects to tweet via Gmail, YouTube messages, and other methods. So thank you to everyone who sends their games in and bearing the inevitable criticism. If you want to see more of Tweet's stuff, be sure to hit those videos over there. If you want to support Tweet, consider subscribing. And if you want to log off and make a sandwich, make it delicious. I like grilled cheese myself. <laughs>